Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with all of the fragrances that I picked up last week. So most of this is a ganache haul and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do a separate haul video for that. I'll just go ahead and include it in and just make it like my weekly haul video. So um, I will go ahead and start with the ganache fragrances. Um, unfortunately though, and I should have written the notes down when I ordered these because when they do, uh, and I'll, I'll tell you actually, um, Ganache is at the very tail end of their buy one get one free sale that they do usually once a year and they do it to kind of clear out old stock from the previous year and then they will either, uh, they usually repackage for the next year and sometimes they will reformulate. So uh, sometimes scents will come back, sometimes they won't. Uh, there are some kind of staple fragrances that I've seen them keep around for years, like Fern Mayo, um, some kind of like a lemon eclair or a lemon cream type fragrance. Um, they usually have some core fragrances that always come back every year, and then some you'll never see again. So uh, with that being said, I picked up six different fragrances because they were buy one, get one free, and I just basically stumbled on the sale by accident. Um, I went on the website looking for this perfume called Stung, and as soon as I pulled it up, they were having their buy one, get one free, and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm early enough. Thank goodness I was. They still had everything in stock, and I got six fragrances. So um, I don't have any notes for them, though, so I'm just going to have to go by my nose. The first one, like I say, I picked up is called Stung. I picked this one up because it's a honey fragrance, and... I knew that by the name. Um, it had also been compared to B from Zoologist, which is my all-time favorite fragrance of, of life. I, it is my favorite fragrance. It is my favorite fragrance I own in my collection. It is my number one ride or die. Could not live without it. Um, I think it's the most beautiful perfume ever created, ever. Uh, it's an absolute masterpiece to me and my nose. Um, so I picked up Stung just to, I had a feeling this would not be a, you know, it would not be a dupe or anything for B, uh, but I do love honey perfumes and fragrances like that, so I went ahead and got it. Um, and this is a gorgeous, like, golden honey. It's got a little bit of an animalic vibe going on. Um, it's definitely got kind of like a, I mean, animalic is really the best way I could describe it, but it's just like a super syrupy, beautiful, golden honey fragrance. It's a little bit dirty, a little bit animalic. It, this one's a little bit screechy on my skin, but... I feel like maybe if I add some vanilla to this, it'll kind of tone that down. I think the screechiness is coming from whatever causes it to be a little bit animalic. Like those those things, whatever that is, it's not clashing well with my skin chemistry. So it's definitely me. It's not the perfume. Um, because in the bottle, this perfume smells amazing. It's just a really beautiful honey perfume. Um, but it is not B. <laughs> um, I wouldn't even say it's a good alternative to B, but in its own right, it's a really beautiful honey fragrance. So that is Stung. The next fragrance I picked up from Ganache is Lemon Cream. Um, I just got this because, uh, uh, cause it's just a beautiful lemon. <laughs> it's like a lemon and pastry fragrance. It's so yummy. This is one of those that will like make your mouth water. This is, this is like, sweet creamy lemon bars with a buttery graham crust. It's beautiful. It's quite synthetic smelling. It's definitely not like a fresh lemon, um, you know, or like supernatural smelling, but it does just smell like a beautiful, yummy lemon dessert. It's definitely got like a buttery pastry note going on. Um, it's kind of similar to like a sweet pastry in Paris from Zara. It's in that kind of family, but this one is a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more fresh smelling than the sweet pastry in Paris. 
the lemon is a little bit more tart. It's a little bit more sour. Mm, it's good though. So that's lemon cream. Okay, these next ones are the ones that I really don't know what is in them. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go with it. This first one is called Snuggle. And one of these, yeah, I've been kind of testing these. This one smells so good, like sprayed in the air and in the bottle. But on my skin, it did not smell very good. And it didn't last for very long. But this is like, uh, Snuggle is... I almost get like a really light, fresh, tobacco type vibe from this one. It's really, really beautiful. I wish I knew the notes in it, but I do like this one. This one did not do great on my skin though, and it didn't last long at all, like maybe 15 minutes for real. So I need to keep playing with this and uh, give it a chance because I tested it one time. It was right before bed, um, and I really wasn't able to form any kind of really uh, strong opinions about it so i'll keep playing with these and you guys will see them show up in a, what i wore last week and i can let you know more kind of about them and you know how much how i like them how they wear things like that so that is snuggle okay the next one oh my gosh this one you guys is one of the ones that when i saw stung this was the one that i put in my cart with stung to get one for free and this is called vanilla oscura and i knew when i saw the color of the liquid i had to have this and the fact that it was a vanilla fragrance oh my gosh this is beautiful this is like a this is a dark boozy vanilla it reminds me of like spiritus du Blivigny, you know it doesn't smell like it, but it reminds me of it. It's that kind of a dark, boozy, yummy vanilla. Ugh, I love it. It's like one of my favorite types of perfume on the planet. I am such a sucker for vanilla, and I'm such a sucker for a dark, boozy vanilla. And I think this might have a touch of chocolate in it, if I remember correctly. I don't know, but I love it. So that's Vanilla Oscura. Okay, next I picked up Cozy, and this one, this one smells like, um, smells like a sweet treat, like cinnamon buns or sticky buns or some kind of pastry, um, you know, like a coffee cake or it smells gooey, <laughs> if that makes any sense like sugary and gooey. It's got caramel in it, I think. Yeah, I'm quite sure this has caramel in it. It's really, really beautiful. There's like a lovely uh, kind of semi-sweet dryness in the background, if that makes any sense, that kind of keeps that caramel from getting too cloying. It, it almost helps the caramel to stay very true to what caramel smells like if that makes any sense. It's really beautiful. It's like a caramel fragrance, so that is cozy. Okay, and then next we have got Hug, and this one. Okay, so Snuggle is not the one that didn't do good on my skin. I, haven't, I don't think I've tried Snuggle yet. This is the one that did not do good on me. This is called Hug, and this one is weird. This smells, it smells very, very sharp. There's like a very strange, sharp, almost like chemical cleaner smell to this. And I do not love it. I'll have to, they don't have any of their perfumes on their website right now. When I looked yesterday to try to look these up to get the notes, they had two fragrances on their website and that was it. That's all they had left. So I'm hoping that when they like revamp and come back, um, that whatever comes back this year, they'll have the notes listed. And if this one comes back, I'll, I'll definitely write the notes down because this one's strange. This did not do good on my skin at all. I felt like I had just sprayed Lysol all over my body. Um, <laughs> yeah, this one was a no-go for me. So that is Hug. 
And that is gonna be it for the six fragrances that I picked up from Ganache. So let's move on to um, my Scentbird for the month. So from Scentbird this month, I got Aqua de Parma and this is Magnolia Nobile. And this, I loved this. This was, uh... oh gosh, I love it. This smells kind of vintagey to me. It, it takes me back, like, and I don't even know where it takes me back to. I can't decide if it takes me back to the 80s or the 90s. But it takes me back somewhere. It just reminds me of some way younger days of my life. Ugh, I love it. So this is Calabrian Bergamot, Magnolia, Jas uh, sorry, Absolute of Jasmine, Madagascar Vanilla, and Sandalwood. It's really beautiful. Uh, it, would I buy a full bottle of it? Probably not. It's not like fantastic. It's not groundbreaking. It's, um, I really mostly like it because of the um, kind of scent memory that it brings for me. The uh, more about the feeling that it gives me than the fact that it smells super good. Um, even though I do think it smells really nice, but yeah, this little decant will be plenty for me. So that is Aqua de Parma Magnolia Nobile. And then I forgot to pay, to uh, write down the notes for this one, but this is one that I've been wanting for a while. This is one of the lush, there's like pff, so many lush perfumes that I want. Um, and somebody had this little half ounce bottle of Pansy listed on Mercari, and I was so happy to be able to get it in a half ounce bottle. Um, I love this fragrance. And Okay, so I can tell you basically based on the ingredients here, it's got bergamot oil in it, uh, orange flower absolute, rosemary oil, galbanum oil, and labdanum resinoid, oak moss extract, um, cinnamon, which I don't think that that's a fragrance actually, coumarin. So it's just beautiful. Um, somebody told me that this is the same fragrance as the olive branch. So if you come across anything or if you know you like the fragrance of the olive branch, then you would like pansy. So this is, ugh, I love it. It's just a super cozy feel good fragrance for me. So that is Lush Pansy. And then last but not least, another fragrance reviewer here on YouTube, uh, Josh Jane. She sent over a couple of bottles to me because she saw uh, my video where I had picked up a couple of the Just Jack fragrances and she had picked up a couple of the Just Jack fragrances and she did not like them. So she was like, hey, uh, she reached out to me on Instagram and was like, hey, I just bought these two Just Jack fragrances and I really don't like them. Do you want me to send them to you? And I was like, I'll totally try them out. So um, these these are the two fragrances that Miss Just Jane sent over to me um, and we'll start with well let's start with this one because this is the one that I actually kind of like this is Just Jack Santal Bloom and these are both dupes of Tom Ford fragrances um, this is supposed to be a dupe of Santal blush now this has such a nice sprayer on it so when I, as soon as I got these in the mail and I opened them up and I smelled this one, this smelled exactly like, well, I shouldn't say exactly because I haven't smelled the Adam Levine perfume in a long time. Um, I used to own it, but I sold it because I didn't love it. But this reminds me a whole lot of the Adam Levine perfume, but this is like a much, much more potent. That's part of why I didn't like the Adam Levine fragrance was because it my skin just ate it up. It was one of those like sprayed on and 15 minutes later I couldn't smell it anymore, which I know is not everybody's experience with that. So I know it was just my skin, but I sprayed this one on my hand and this one actually hung around. So ugh, I really do like this one because it reminds me so, so much of that Adam Levine fragrance, uh, which everybody says that the Adam Levine fragrance smells like Tom Ford Santal blush as well. So I was not able to find the exact notes for the Just Jack fragrance. I would have had to like look up the Just Jack fragrance on a website that sold it to hope that maybe they had the notes on there, but they didn't. So I just grabbed the notes for Santal blush because I think they're very uh, similar, but just know that these aren't the exact notes for this. Um, it'll just give you an idea of what 
the notes are in this. Antal Blush is uh, Spices, Caraway, Cinnamon, Fenugreek, Carrot Seeds, Ylang Ylang, Jasmine, Rose, Sandalwood, Benzoin, Virginia Cedar, Musk, and Oud. And it's pretty. It's just a very light and airy, spicy, um, spicy, slightly woody fragrance. It's very pretty. This one I actually really do like. So that is Just Jack Santal Bloom. And then the second one she sent over is Just Jack Fanta Fab. And look at this like holographic uh, label. It really is holographic. Um, this is, and I have smelled, so this is a dupe for uh, Tom Ford Effing Fabulous. And I have had a decant of Effing Fabulous before. Um, this smells like it, but like a lot more of something than I remember Effing Fabulous being. Whereas Effing Fabulous had a really nice mix, if I remember correctly, of like a lot of spices, a lot of wood. Um, but yeah, this is, to my nose, this is super, super masculine, like even more so than Effing Fabulous is. So, okay, so this is Clary Sage, Lavender, Bitter Almond, Leather, Oris, Vanilla, uh, More Leather, Tonka Bean, Cashmere, and White Woods, and Amber. And again, that is, those are the notes for the Tom Ford fragrance, um, which is, again, going to be very similar to this, but it's, I think it's the leather in this, and the leather in the Tom Ford fragrance is such a much better quality leather that uh, this, that's, I think that's really all I'm getting in this is leather. Leather and like a lot of woods. And leather is not my favorite. Um, but if you like leather, I think you would really like this fragrance because that's, that's basically all it is. It's like a super leathery woody fragrance. Um, and I remember, like I say, Effing Fabulous being more than this. You could smell more in it than uh, you can in this. So anyways, that is Just Jack Fanta Fab. Thank you again so much to Joss for sending those over to me. I so appreciate it. Um, so that's going to be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I picked up or that were sent to me last week. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!